Nicole and uh, thank you Judith. Uh, today's day will be Jamila's day, not mine. <laughs> I finished my show yesterday. So I met, I think, Jamila two decades back. Uh, after two decades, I'm meeting her in Nottingham, not in India. So I was there for her poetry reading. I don't remember uh, anything. I only remember, I still to this day, a uh, woman speaking about her desires so freely in a gathering. So I was very overwhelmed, hats off, and uh, uh, it's, I'm happy to be with uh, Jamila. Meaning of Jamila is beautiful. So this beautiful person from India, from Hyderabad, she was born and brought up in Hyderabad. She lives there with her politics, with her convictions and with her poetry. Uh, so I'm happy to introduce Thank you. Uh, you. Um, one of her uh, poems, she is a poet. I think she has broken all the rules of poetry. So this poem speaks how she broke those boundaries. So she'll read her poem. I'll pluck. She has broken, uh, she don't even give a title to her poems. <laughs> huh? And uh, all the rules of poetry, she has broken not with, you know, uh, equipments or uh, arms. arms, but very peacefully and with lots of love, she has just broken. So I want to, you to read that uh, poem. She did that. Uh, first in English, Judith is going to read. I pluck flowers and <coughs> throw them in the dust, then pick them again to string them with the thread of my tears. Madness, <coughs> be it so. I had no wish to roam the deserts like Fayez or to write a Matanabi on the self. I am only searching for flowers strewn in my being. It's difficult to find them in the ashes. It's just the madness that I cherish. Yes, in the book. Now the mad Zamila. Phoolon ko noch kar kode mein phik deti hu. Phir unhe chun chun kar ashkon ke dhage mein buro leti hu. Agar ye divan ki hai, to yu hi zahi. Mujhe यो मजनू बनकर सहरा सहरा भटकना नहीं है खुदी पर मसनवी नहीं लिखनी है अपने अंदर बिखरे फूलों को टटोल रही चली राह में फूलों का मिलना मुश्किल है बस एक दीवानगी है जो मुझे पसंद है सी when we khudi uh, ki pe masnavi has got a background of iqbal mm -hmm. iqbal has written a long poem about khudi and then everybody they are the idol you know idol poets were urdu iqbal and khalid and romantic poetry so i thought i don't have any romance in my life of that kind that they were expecting so i started writing because and literally, whenever I was writing, and you are a 14 year old and you don't want to, you are not confident enough, this, is this poem? You are not confident enough. So you go and show it to some authority, some lecturer. No, 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 this is not the poem. Mm -hmm. It's thrown away. So many of my poems were just thrown into the dustbins. Literally, this is, the process of writing that I started. 
I was not in normally in Urdu. We have rhyme, rhythm, meter, verse, mm. Mm. Lo, uh, long poems. But here, I just broke all those things, and they were not ready to accept it as poetry. So it took a long time. It took a long, long time. And uh, the second poem is uh, Ardha Narishwara. Actually, women they don't look at the sky to weave a poetry. It is there in their everyday life. So how you know everyday life is converted into poetry? I think that is the beauty of this uh, poem. We want to write. We will be dying to write, but something will be burning on the stove. Somebody will call and you know ask for something. I want water. I want this. I want that. So each time we have to break this hurdle to sit and write. Not like men, you know. Ki, yes, I'm a writer. I will sit. I have, you know. Ki everything is provided. The food is provided. Everything is provided. It's not like that for a uh, woman. For many women. Yes. So this everydayness, how it gets converted into poetry, I think you have to read Ardha Narishwara. First, in English, Judith is going to read. Up in the morning star, it wakes me, saying, wash the dishes, sweep the floor, pack lunch for the kids. This is a daily routine. But sometimes when breath is on fire, moments laugh. And in the dooryard of this way routine, a pomegranate sprouts. And I offer a rosary of words to Shiva and sing the Krishna Lila and turn Ardhanarishwara in one hand, a broom in the other, a stick, mm. a quarrel between Shiva and Shakti. Subsided soon. Then I see the milk is spilled and the stove cooled. अक्सर मुझको सुबह कतारा ये कह के जगाता ऐ लड़की बर्तन धो झाड़ू दे बच्चों का तोशा बना यही मामूल है रोजा ना का लेकिन कभी कभी जब सांसों में आग लगी लम्हा हंसता इसी मामूल के आंगन में अनार खीते लफ्जों की माला शंकर को चढ़ाती राम किशन की लीला गाती अर्धनारेश्वर बन जाती एक हाथ में झाड़ू दूजे में ढंडा डंडा शिव और शक्ति के बीच में झगड़ा जो कुछ देर में हो गया ठंडा फिर मैंने देखा जब मैंने देखा दूध चूल्हे पर उबल गया है चूल्हा ठंडा पड़ गया Uh, women often keeps on waiting and the kind of work which we do you know always boring monotonous and this waiting has several things and we eternally wait for our husbands and our lovers this will never end always ek ummeed rakhe we will be waiting one fine day hamara majnu will arrive or hamare romeo will arrive and uh, the dearest lover of mine will arrive <laughs> at the end of the day what happens this talaq poem yeah. you please hear <laughs> Those papers are with you. No, please. Yes, yeah. Tears dripped down the walls. The windows cried out, "Come back, come back!" The tulsi plant in the courtyard is so full, so full. Hope smiled like rebellious leaves. He will return. He will return. from my rival slain where is he lost lord of my heart 
The door shrieked, talak, talak, talak. The table opened its eyes wide. wide. Memory's chair creaked, car, car, as I sipped loneliness from the teacup. Divaron se ansu tapakte rahe. Divaron se ansu tapakte rahe. Dari che pukare. Chale a, chale a. Angan me tulsi bharai. Umit barge avara bani muskurai. Aega, aega, o lot aega. Kiski gali sokan bani kaha ko gaya mere dil ka malik darwaza chikha tala 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 mez ki aankhe khuli ki khuli reh gayi yaadon ki kursi kar kar karane lagi चाय की प्याली से मैं तन्हाई पीने लगी यस व्हाट इज लेफ्ट द कप ऑफ टी टू ड्रिंक द लोनलीनेस एंड अगेन बाय किलिंग आवर ड्रीम्स बाय किलिंग आवर एस्पिरेशंस we built palaces but the, all the labor which we do is unseen unrecognized unacknowledged <laughs> and this poem the sheikh maraj no before that i will talk something about talaq which is very important and in uh, india it is banned triple talaq is banned now we cannot uh, i mean a muslim man cannot give triple talaq easily now so uh, but the scenario has changed now this was the scenario before 17th 7 2017 we got triple the lock ban do you want to just explain briefly what triple the lock means in one they, see muslim laws are very patriarchal among muslims a man can just say talaq 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 and can get rid of the woman easily but if a woman wants to get rid of the man she cannot say khula 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 and get rid of her <laughs> him she has to make him agree for khula. that this relationship is broken and then she has to observe 90 days to show her pure uh, purity or you call it i mean in the, the terms of uh, patriarchal system that you are only his wife and not anybody else's uh, relationship so that 90 days she has to wait after he agrees to that and then only she can be separated all muslim laws are patriarchal even in the uh, pra- our property system it is not equal so we are trying to change the laws but it takes long time it's a long way to go I think it is true with all religions. So with all religions of course. It's not just But because our we constitution have a gives us law that we get everything share in the property. And many women are living separately. They are not even you know officially divorced but they live separately. Deserted. Many women are deserted. For name sake he is the husband. Many many Hindu women. I think it is true with patriarchy is the disease of i think all human society i feel um. but thanks to ambedkar again that our constitution is so strong and we are hoping that things will change and his vision comes true when you mentioned this ambedkar i remembered one cartoon it's a beautiful cartoon ambedkar is holding a hand of a small school girl and carrying the constitution and crossing the corner and somebody from the upstairs you know holding something to put it on his head so yes 
कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज अवर होप तो फोर्थ सो शेक मैरिज बिफोर आई रीड द पोए शेकिंग द मैरिज after the uh, my mother shall have no pain no pressure of debt no strain a new star shall shine in the lives of my siblings my departure would bring glad tidings my house shall never starve new clothes we shall have my heart thought let's make a deal i was 16 and he was in his 60s brick by brick a new shelter is made overnight my house is a palace new laid a new tv a new car a new mobile is what i will get my heart thought let's make a deal finally the night appeared it appeared in processions cascade of all desires come true as we came close all my fright all my enthusiasm shattered i lay numb all night tears rolling down my cheek i closed my eyes buried in the bed beneath i lay helpless nothing could i dare all my veins now bore cement and strong walls now stand built up to be a new palace a new colony a new city my innocent body was buried inside whole actually this is a real life story uh, in pol city we have uh, for last many years people think that it, there is no such child marriage happening now but for last almost it started in 1970s and it continues but now there is a change now there is little change and they are changing the aadhar card change in the sense changing on the papers changing the aadhar card of the girl and get it, getting her married to the old arab uh, it happens in gulbarga also yes and wherever there is poverty it happens so this is a real story i'm talking about it happened with one girl their uh, mother was a widow and the family thought that this is the only best way of making money and finally the girl got some diseases and she died ma ko takleef na ho kharch ka koi bojh na ho ma ko takleef na ho kharch ka koi bojh na ho मेरे भाइयों के लिए एक नया तारा चमके मेरे जाने से मेरे घर में उजाला आए नए कपड़े होंगे घर में चूल्हा तो जलेगा नए कपड़े होंगे दिल ने सोचा चलो सौदा कर ले दिल ने सोचा चलो सौदा कर ले मैं थी सोलह की वो था पैंसठ का ईट पर ईट रखे एक नया घर बन जाए रात ही रात मेरा घर महल बन जाए दिल ने सोचा चलो सौदा कर ले नया टीवी नई गाड़ी नया मोबाइल मिले सारा घर ना उठे खुशियों की का सागर उबले दिल ने सोचा चलो सौदा कर ले रात आई थी बहुत रातों के बाद आई थी रात आई थी बहुत रातों के बाद आई थी रात आई थी लम्स की सौगात लिए ख्वाहिशों की नई बारात लिए एक तूफान सा उठा था दिल में नई चाहत बनकर पास आया ही था वो कि जोश जुनू ठंडा हुआ पास आया ही था वो कि जोश जुनू ठंडा हुआ रात भर सुंद पड़ी तकिया मेरा रोने लगा आँख जो मूंद ली बिस्तर दोस होने लगी देखती क्या हूँ मेरे बाजू मेरे हाथ बने रेत का ढेर मेरी रग रग में सीमेंट फैल गई दीवारें खड़ी होने लगी एक नया महल बना नगर बना शहर बना मेरा मासूम बदन इस नगर तले शहर तले तब There is one whole area called Barkas, 
which is of this guy where you will find all big buildings and the girls are married many times sometimes they are married 17 times mm -hmm. so one of the girls committed suicide in 2016 earlier and i'm i'm talking about 90s in 90s one of the girls who was sold off to in the arab country she wrote a letter those days we didn't have mobile or anything she wrote a letter to her mother aapko 17th damat mubarak aapko 17th damat 17th hmm. congratulations my mother you got 17th sanina hmm. so this goes on and on and on um one more interesting thing i observe in your uh, poetry is you are talking about uh, talaq you are talking about um, uh, you know this uh, shaik marriage and there you know rama comes krishna comes shiva comes shakti comes and a tulsi plant comes and i feel uh, this is the indian culture you know which is inclusive It is always. It is. Uh, I mean, it, it's difficult, you know. It's difficult to keep you away from your yes. surroundings, and you are a poet, and you have everything around. Uh -huh. And especially in Hyderabad, you can't believe we have Ganesha in our houses. Yes. At the entrance, we have Ganesha Murti. Most, not all of them, but most of them. But these days, things have changed. there is total isolation polarization of the society the muslims are separate hindus are separate old city and new city we have got high tech city and then we have got old city mm. a lot of completely different culture in both the cities i feel there is a lot of hope in small towns and villages because uh, as i was telling yesterday as an activist i work with the uh, sweepers in most of the northern part of karnataka where there is a strong influence of the sufis and the muslims every house has got a god muslim gods outside their house you know they have a neem tree under that there is this bhagwan and uh, they in a particular uh, ritual these people go and lift the god and they take prasad from Uh, that and they uh, keep the name you know yamnurappa yamnurama yamnurappa is a muslim saint he is a sufi saint and uh, many hindus uh, boys and girls are named of yamnurappa yamnurama yamnuru is a name of the place and that uh, saint lived there so boys are named as yamnurappa girls are named as yamnurama and uh, there is lot of this uh, syncretic culture which is Uh, there and which really gives me hopes this against this polarization um and there are lot of hurdles for women just to go for a school get educated get uh, higher education or you know get a job for everything there is a hurdle but we still walk we don't stop dreaming and how do we walk abhi chalne ka se jamila see life is all walking i believe in that i have walked this far i can walk no more i am barefoot my shoes worn and mended but i still walk barefoot on rock scale heights Track thorns and stone. My enemies are my own. But I have to walk on and on to the other shore. Till yesterday, I was no one. Now, I am someone. I have to walk with many others. Emerging from the valley of no, I can now be and do and walk to the far shining light. but i cannot walk shards pierce my soles my feet grow numb but i have to walk long and far i'll walk on water dwell in caves 
Now that I have sprung out of rock hard, I can river run to no limit. Now I know how to run. Chali aai hu badi dur se, ab chalna bhi nahi aata. Meri chappal bhi tooti hai chatano, mujhko ab chalna nahi aata. बहुत कांटे हैं कंकर है मेरे अपने ही दुश्मन हैं मगर मुझको तो चलना है उस पार जाना है कल तलक मैं कुछ भी न थी आज पहचान बनाई हूँ और चलना है सबों के साथ नहीं की वादी से निकलकर आज मैं सब कुछ हूँ सब कुछ करूँ उम्मीद की लो अब भी चमकती है मगर चलना नहीं आता ये कंकर चुप रहे हैं पाँव सुंद हो रहे हैं मगर मुझको तो चलना है बहुत दूर तक देर तक मौजों पे चलूँगी चट गुफाओं में जीऊँगी चट्टानों के सीने से निकलकर चल पड़ी हूँ मुझे अब चलना आता है चट्टानों के सीने से निकलकर चल पड़ी हूँ मुझे अब चलना आता है मेरे तलवे सीमा पार कर चुके हैं हदों को तोड़कर मैं चल पड़ी मुझे अब चलना आता है एक्चुअली वी हैव अ कॉमन थिंग I also belong to the women's movement and she also, since uh, 80s. So what was our uh, weapons? It's the pain inside our tummy. It is the suffering. You know, that was converted into the struggle, into poetry, into theatre. And this, you know, this is uh, very close to my heart. I am very closely associated with the women's movement. And uh, this especially speaks of the sisterhood. This poem speaks of the sisterhood. So I want Jamila to read this poem. The last Ham poem. Uthengi. Yes. We will rise from every clump of earth, from every town, in every land to make history anew. When tender buds strip tears of blood from the trees of oppression. When screams of pain turn wails to cries, voices will rise from every street to make history anew. From every head that is cut, a new one, hydra-like, will spring. And voices will rise from every town, in every land, may our laws be preserved and our unity conserved. Rebellious voices will rise from every nook of every place to make history anew. Ham uthenge, ham uthenge har mitti se, dunya ki har ek basti se, pegaam e mahapad laenge. इतिहास बनाते जाएंगे जब जुल्म सितम के पेड़ों से कलियां भी लहू टपकाती हैं जब जुल्म सितम के पेड़ों से कलियां भी लहू टपकाती हैं जब जुल्म की चीखें उठती हैं नाले नारा बन जाते हैं हम उठेंगे हर मिट्टी से इतिहास बनाते जाए मणिपुर सिक्किम आसाम से कश्मीर से कन्याकुमारी से बस्ती बस्ती गूंजे नारा ना बदलो आईन हमारा ना बाटो फिर हों में खुदारा हम उठेंगे हर मिट्टी से दुनिया की हर एक बस्ती से तुम जितने सरों को काटोगे फिर उतने सर उठ जाएंगे इस हम दुनिया की हर एक बस्ती में 
हाइड्रा बन के फैलेंगे दिस हाइड्रा इज आवर साइंस इन साइंस वी टॉक अबाउट मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड हाउ द फर्स्ट एनिमल हाइड्रा वी टॉक अबाउट हाइड्रा बन के फैलेंगे हम उठेंगे हर मिट्टी से दुनिया की हर एक बस्ती से ब्यूटिफुल हाउ थिंक आई लाइक you know there is uh, one famous poet called vinaya vakunda in karnataka we sing this song you know it's like almost like an anthem of our feminist uh, movement how, uh, i'm just telling you know ki how yeah. we think alike so she also right you know ki how women will come to the street and with the songs of the rain and uh, we will plant the sla- saplings we will search for the new rivers to wash away the you know the blood shed and we throw everything which is binding our body and we will break all the shackles we will come to the streets and this there will be a river of women flowing in the street it's a, it's a lovely song i'll just recite it to you vandalla ಒಂದು ದಿನ ಈ ನೆಲದ ಹೆಣ್ಣುಗಳು ಒಂದಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ದಿನ ಈ ನೆಲದ ಹೆಣ್ಣುಗಳು ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಏ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮಳೆ ಹಾಡ ಹಾಡುತ್ತಾ ಸಾಲು ಗಿಡಗಳ ನೆಡುತ್ತಾ ಮಳೆ ಹಾಡ ಹಾಡುತ್ತಾ ಸಾಲು ಗಿಡಗಳ ನೆಡುತ್ತಾ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ದೇಹದ ಗುಂಟ ಹರಿದ ನೆತ್ತರ ಚರಿತೆ ತೊಳೆಯುತ್ತಾರೆ ಹೆಂಗಳು ಚರಿತೆ ತೊಳೆಯುತ್ತಾರೆ ಹೊಸ ನದಿಯ ಹುಡುಕುತ್ತಾ ಹುಡುಕುತ್ತಾ ಸಾಗುತ್ತಾರೆ ಹೊಸ ನದಿಯ ಹುಡುಕುತ್ತಾ ಹುಡುಕುತ್ತಾ ಸಾಗುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ದೇಹ ಕಂಠಿದ ಎಲ್ಲವ ಕಳಚಿ ಬಿಡಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾರೆ ಬಿಡಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾರೆ ಬಂಧನ ಬಿಡಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ನೆಲದ ಹಾದಿ ಬೀದಿಗಳ ತುಂಬ ಸೇರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ನೆಲದ ಹಾದಿ ಬೀದಿಗಳ ತುಂಬ ಸೇರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೊರಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಯು ನೋ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ವಿ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿ ಘರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಕಿ you know why uh, this activism and you are a poet she was telling in the morning discussion poetry is my dream activism to make the dream into reality i do activism and she works with all the down downtrodden women it's not just the economic empowerment she is working for for the uh, emotional empowerment and uh, for their dignity and uh, because it is not just the economy which brings you the dignity which is something else dignity is something else which you have to just you know ki scrap it out it is there inside everyone that kind of empowerment she is bringing so i really want you to speak about your uh, group you know which is Shahin. working since shahin uh, since two four decades no no two two decades yeah see uh, shaheen women resource and welfare association as nicole was talking about and last year we had a nice program and hoping that the next program also will be very nice thank you to both of you for that uh, the 
we have got, we work with the adolescent girls and the girls so, who are trying to become economically independent and this platform gave so much strength our cattle fest gave strength to one of our young girl she was just 18 and she could speak about how she was sexually abused it is not easy you know we keep talking about things we talk about violence but to talk about your own experience and share it with others publicly is a very big task mm -hmm. and the girl we we write hawali because i have i'm a poet i write the lyrics and the girls perform the hawali and the leading singer she is from the scavenging community mm -hmm. and she is the victim of uh, i won't say victim because she is quite strong now empowered now and she is leading us leading the group and talk, singing the hawali every way be from high tech city to the old city so she has brought a lot of change and she is the inspiration for all other girls so i am hopeful that we are we can change life dreams definitely will come true if you work hard and i'm sure the day will come when these girls will take the lead and fulfill all the desires that they want and we should never stop dreaming we will never stop everyone one of, in the beginning when we were working one of the girls said to dream about my life is also a big task i'm talking about 20 years back and today the girls say i want to become this i want to become that they have got all of them have got dreams and which they want to make come true all the time so i want you to start talking about your poetry <laughs> and your work and how poetry and theater and activism all i mean we cannot separate all of them all of them are together all the time but talk about it and Actually, read a few poems. <laughs> I'm a po poet. Before acting, I started writing. I never used to show it to anyone. I used to hide it. We as a, Manasa was an autonomous feminist group. Uh, the main work which we used to do was uh, bringing out a monthly magazine. Uh, we were the editors and we were the writers. We were the artists. Because we never had the money, we used to raise money from the people and run that magazine. So in between, when we were uh, you know, in the press, some places left out, I used to you know, push my poem into that, to fill the gap. So never used to show it to anyone. So there was a very bad phase in my life, I was caught up and uh, I felt very, uh, you know, hurt, humiliated. Uh, then I started feeling, uh, I was working in a bank as a clerk. I was caught up in a criminal case. So I was feeling, you know, this innocent feeling I had was, you know, these people don't know, unnecessarily they've pushed me to this difficulty. They don't know. So I just wanted to prove to the whole world what I am. So there was a poetry competition. I, I just, what I wrote in the diary, I just racked it and posted it. And I won. Um, so I mean, I, I mean uh, after I posted into the box, I forgot about proving anyone. Just fuck it up. I don't want to prove anyone. The mother inside me said, whom do you want to prove? If you are honest, you are honest, not to prove somebody else. So afterwards, you know, that nasha which was there, it just vanished away. Then, you know, somebody, I think after a week, somebody in Kalakshetra, that's a performing place, they said, you know, congrats, you have won the... I said, why are you joking? They said, you know, no, you have won, you, now you have to get me tea. I said, I'll get you tea, but why are you telling that, you know, I have won, don't joke. I said, okay, see, you are Saraswati, isn't it? Yes. So for the first time, I wrote, you know, do Saraswati. 
my pen name is du saraswati du is my father's name durgappa very dear to me uh, very feminine father i had uh, so you are the only du saraswati in karnataka i said yes you stay in one one name yes and you have one it has come out in the paper go and see the paper so i had see i had not seen the same paper so i was declared publicly i am a poet <laughs> and i went to take the award i was very scared if the press people you know okay if they ask me because uh, i'm i'm very bad in grammar i don't like grammar so i went uh, thankfully nobody asked and they gave the award and they gave 2000 rupees to publish the poem and uh, it was uh, weave like a spider henadare jedanante was the title so that was my first uh, poetry collection the second was jeeva uh, uh, sampige uh, and uh, the third i have to publish it and i also write uh, short stories i love poetry because uh, something deep inside me which i want to share i can share it through my poem um that very like you know very close to my heart it's like you know just speaking myself so read out a few poems sometimes <laughs> <laughs> that jeeva uh, sampige my second poetry collection the title poem uh, with uh, judith will uh, uh, now read out but i don't have the kannada version I, uh, the other two poems i'll read in uh, kannada Behold there deep in the nether world is a jiva sampige tree to see the seven seven times seven seventy seven crore high tree i climbed down lower even lower exhausting myself crossing the cooling brook as if intoxicated facing the tree with trembling body frightened mind craned the neck as one will the top remains out of sight bend it the bottom evades one too before the eyes only boulders that are round large small tiny an icy wind hits a shivering silence follows the tree has split the sky its roots have drilled through and cracked the nether world its rock like branches are strewn on all sides how many ages have these branches lain there and how many years has this tree stood for how many eons have these roots reached downwards and these leaves fallen and sprouted afresh through how many ages has the cutting cold of this water flown and how many years has this shiver inducing silence lingered for how many epochs has this soil that has embraced these roots existed and the fragrance that has spread as flowers across the forest how many ages all your leaves every root stem every bough and limb every fork of every bough give me strength i pray to offer you obeisance o oh, woman your life is the edge of tender fresh sprouted leaves and bud can the tender bud comprehend the calculation of the eons mm -hmm. who said so who laughed o oh, master jadimadi o oh, mistress jadimada can it be she can it be he a tree without gender wandering whirling pulling drawing gathering splitting her a spinning whirlpool is it a boon a curse birth death life <coughs> cut down she fell oh jarimada i cannot but of you the life that you threw onto my lap i offer back to you 
that fistful of sweetness, coolness, fragrance, guarding warmth, steaming dark night, battlefield, sharp machette. This life that you have thrown at me, will you make it a weight on the back? Or will you rest it on my head? It is up to you. Even if there is nothing else, dying, buried in the soil, rotten, ripened, whether for the root that takes form at this moment or for the tender shoots, turn me into manure. I cannot fight my woman friend, Jaggy Mother. Mm. It sounds very good. I mean, this I wrote, you know, it's a tribal worshipping place in uh, Karnataka. Uh, it is, uh, I think that uh, tree must be God knows how many years old. I had a very unusual, unique feeling when I went uh, there. And uh, when we compare ourselves to the universe, we are just, you know, the speck of a dust. And how much we, you know, the ego we have with few thousand rupees in our hand and with big palaces. So the whole thing, you know, looked so different from that place. It's a very mystic place. So that experience, I uh, wrote that. And it's, it sounds so good in another tongue. <laughs> you are a Jew and you are from France and you also belong to UK. Mm -hmm. See, this is, Borders are this is the... No, we are all world citizens. So, uh, another poem is, uh, you first read it in English, then I'll read it in Kannada. Give the background, but little background. Uh, yeah, let her read and... Uh, mm. I am the daughter of water Ganga, love's belly full. When volcano blasts and lava runs all over, boiling the body. I am a daughter of Ganga, lifesaver. Wet eyes, tongue, vagina dries and splits like stone, yet I smile like grass sprouting between the rocks. I am a daughter of Ganga, who gusheth out of a rock like a fountain, dipped in drains, gutters, Yet a smile like scent. I am a daughter of sacred Ganga, who washes away the filth. Skin of my body burnt into desert, yet I laugh like a breeze. I am a daughter of Oasis Ganga. Inside the deep pit, grief churns like a whirlpool, yet I laugh. I am a daughter of Ganga, the whirlpool who taught me. Be a stubborn child and yogi. Stand like a stone. Then comes up the smile, like a light and warm butter. Burden me, chain me, watch me. Yet I laugh like freedom. I am a daughter of Ganga, who pierced the rocks with her feet. Ganga who made Chamar Boki her home, Ganga who folds for efforts, Ganga who occupies the neti of lover, Ganga who holds to her bosom the newborns and smells unjoined scalp. Those who picked items of symphony in each atom of hide and brought out the nada. Those who picked iotas of symphony in each atom of hide, worn by a roof of muscles, and brought out the nada. Those who picked iotas of symphony in each atom of hide, worn by a roof of muscles, on a nest of bones, and brought out the nada. Those who caught the pulse of nada personifying into divinity, through their fingers, filled with bones, marrows, blood, flesh, and life, interacting with the melody, ingrained in the atoms of dead skin, remained outside, 
when divinity turned into idol. I, this, uh, this identity as uh, Dalit, I uh, look at as uh, this identity politics, you know, through uh, the metaphor of a, a tree. Uh, often in an argument, you know, ki this uh, identity politics is very limited. But I feel, you know, where I am standing, I am rooted, but I branch out. And I take the sunlight from my branch and leaves, the light and the air, everything. So that is, is an identity politics for me. So as a Dalit, an untouchable Dalit, my community people, they were uh, uh, working with the skin. You know, what do you, I mean, uh, what do you call? Uh, yeah. You know, uh, you know, skinning out and then, you know, ki the whole process of uh, uh, tanning, yeah. And this is, um, the skin is so thick and that is converted into like a cloth which can be cut and, you know, made into different shapes of bag, chapels, etc. That requires a lot of labor, skill and intelligence wisdom so when i say i'm a dalit i don't want to uh, you know be meek you know Ki whatever i want to ask from the society i want to ask with a lot of dignity as my right i'm i'm i, I don't want I, i'm not a slave i and i also have something to give it to the world it's not just taking and asking for my rights and I have something to share it with the world and that is useful for the world, useful for the humanity of the world. So I recognize this skin, this uh, the whole uh, leather business and uh, the water. There are two different cultures in India. One is the fire culture, another is the water culture. I belong to the water culture. So that is why Ganga is very dear. Ganga, not the river Ganges. You know, we do the Ganga Puja means any water is worshipped by the Dalits. Any occasion, any auspicious occasion, and even during the death also, they worship the water. So giving life, water is giving life. Uh, so these two, Ganges and this skin, hide, is something very dear to me. This is the metaphor which talks about my uh, community's aesthetics, labor, dignity, art, everything. So I wrote this. Uh, especially the chamars, the cobblers, they keep uh, a part, broken part, where they put the water and use that water while making the chapel. They believe that Ganga is our daughter. There is a story, folk story, you know, once, you know, the Ganga lost her anklet and she said, go to my father and ask. And who was the father? This cobbler was the father. He had uh, that original design. They came to him to take that. So this Ganga and this skin, you must have all read T.M. Krishna's, uh, uh, what is that? What brothers? It's a very good book. So, so I am a daughter of Ganga. Mm, the first is Gangeya Magalu Nanu. Gangeya Magalu Nanu. Nagutte ne hotte tumba. Nagutte ne hotte tumba. Vadal olagye jwala muki sidi du. Lava rasa mai olagye alla haridadi kudiyutti daru. Jeeva Jala Gangeya Magalu Nana Kannalige Yoni Pase Vanagi Kallante Biridaru Nagutene Tevadante Kalla Sandolage Odava Malakayante Bande Biridu Chimmova Chilume Gangeya Magalu Nana 
ಬಚ್ಚಲು ಚರಂಡಿ ಮೋರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮೀಸಿದರು ನಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ಘಮಘಮಿಸಿ ಕೊಳೆ ತೊಳೆವ ಪಾವನ ಗಂಗೆಯ ಮಗಳು ನಾನು ತೊಗಲ ಮೈಯ ರಣ ಬಿಸಿಲ ಮರುಳ ಗಾಡಾಗಿಸಿದರು ನಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ತಂಪಾಗಿ ಮರಳುಗಾಡಿನ ಓಎಸ್ಎಸ್ ಗಂಗೆಯ ಮಗಳು ನಾನು ಒಡಲ ಕುಳಿಯೊಳಗೆ ಸುಳಿಯಂತೆ ಸುತ್ತುವ ಸಂಕಟವು ತಿರುಗಿ ತಿರು ತಿರುಗಿ ಮಸೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳುವಾಗಲೂ ನಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ಬೆಚ್ಚಗೆ ಚಂಡಿ ಹಿಡಿದ ಮಗುವಂತೆ ಹಂಬಲಿಸಿ ಹಠವಾದ ಯೋಗಿಯಂತೆ ಕಲ್ಲಾಗಿ ನಿಲ್ಲು ಮಗಳೇ ಆಗ ಮೇಲೇಳುವುದು ಹಗುರಾದ ಉಗುರು ಬೆಚ್ಚಗಿನ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆಯಂತ ನಗು ಎಂದು ಕಲಿಸಿದ ಸುಳಿಗಂಗೆ ಮಗಳು ನಾನು ಹೊರೆ ಹೇರಿ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಕಾವಲು ಕಾದರೂ ನಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಿರ್ಬಿಡೆಯಿಂದ ಕಲ್ಲನ್ನೇ ಕೊರೆದು ಹರಿವ ರಭಸದ ಗಂಗೆಯ ಮಗಳು ನಾನು ಚಮ್ಮಾರನ ಬೋಕಿಯ ತೌರು ಮನೆ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ ಗಂಗೆ ಪಟ್ಟು ಬಿಡಿದವರಿಗೆ ಮೇಲಿಂದ ಸುರಿದ ಗಂಗೆ ಒಲಿದವರ ನೆತ್ತಿ ಏರಿ ಕೂತ ಗಂಗೆ ನೆತ್ತಿ ಕೂಡದ ಹಸು ಗೂಸುಗಳ ಎದೆಗೊತ್ತಿ ನೆತ್ತಿ ಮೂಸುವ ಗಂಗೆ ಅವಳ ಹನಿಮಗಳು ನಾನು ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಟಿ ಎಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರೈಟ್ ಏನೋ ಹೌ ವಾಟ್ ಅನ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಮೃದಂಗಂ and when it is played on the stage it is focused on the artist and on the mrudangam but one who makes it is always at the back and nobody knows about him and nobody speaks of him first time tm krishna has spoken about them hats off to him and uh, this uh, <coughs> how they make this musical instrument ತೊಗಲೀನ ಅಣು ಅಣುವಿನೊಳಗಡಗಿರುವ ಇಂಪಿನ ಕಣ ಕಣವ ಹೆಕ್ಕಿ ನಾದ ಹೊಮ್ಮಿಸಿ ದವರು ಮಾಂಸ ಕಂಡಗಳ ಮಾಡು ಹೊದ್ದಿರುವ ತೊಗಲಿನ ಅಣು ಅಣುವಿನೊಳಗಡಗಿರುವ ಇಂಪಿನ ಕಣ ಕಣವ ಹೆಕ್ಕಿ ನಾದ ಹೊಮ್ಮಿಸಿದವರು ಎಲುಬಿನ ಗೂಡ ಮೇಘಣ ಮಾಂಸ ಕಂಡಗಳ ಮಾಡು ಹೊದ್ದಿರುವ ತೊಗಲೀನ ಅಣು ಅಣುವಿನೊಳ ಗಡಗಿರುವ ಇಂಪಿನ ಕಣ ಕಣವ ಹೆಕ್ಕಿ ನಾದ ಹೊಮ್ಮಿಸಿ ದವರು ಮೂಳೆ ಮಜ್ಜೆ ರಕ್ತ ಮಾಂಸ ಜೀವ ತುಂಬಿದ ಬೆರಳು ಗಳು ಸತ್ತ ತೊಗಲಿನ ಅಣು ಅಣುವಿನೊಳಗಡಗಿರುವ ಇಂಪಿನೊಂದಿಗೆ ಒಡನ ಡಿ ನಾದ ಹೊಮ್ಮಿ ದೈವೀಕವಾಗುವ ನಾಡಿಯ ಆಲಿಸಿ ದವರು ದೇವಮೂರ್ತಿ ಆದಾಗ ದೇವಮೂರ್ತಿ ಆದಾಗ ದೂರ ಉಳಿದವರು ದೂರ ಉಳಿದವರು 
they make sound is you know divine and we create the sound of divinity and when it is worshiped put in a worshiping place and i'm out one who created has to be kept far off Shaheen works against patriarchy, but we have to think about the patriarchal system that is set up already. It is not just disease, it's more than that. Every lane that we work in the old city of Hyderabad has got one muscle man who rules over the place mm-hmm. on the street. And at home you have patriarch, in, on the street you have patriarch. the system is patriarchal and the girl has to struggle to come out of that so mobility was the first restriction that they had we struggled a lot in the beginning to bring the girls out of their houses and so much violence inside mm-hmm. thanks to our again sister new or uh, this poxo protection of children against sexual offences that these girls are able to talk about it now otherwise there was no nothing of that kind and then when we talk about the laws the laws of patriarchal this you know when we started working uh, shaheen started working i w- will talk about it in detail later but uh, the whole system of patri- in that patriarchal system they did not accept a woman leader a woman head of the institute so my uh, shine struggle started from there so much patriarchal but now the girls are able to go out they dream of the their dreams are quite high some of them shahin itself the word shahin means to fly high in the sky the shahin is a name of a bird which flies high in the sky mm. so the girls have they have themselves taken out that word i am not there to i mean present them but girls when we talked about the limits the restrictions they came out with the word shahin shahin was again in ikbal's poetry quite famous so girls thought they related themselves with shahin and they said our organization name should be shahin that's how it is and the men in the families and all are responding always problem always mm-hmm. however we push ourselves forward they push us back we push ourselves forward and they push us back that happens actually what you said is true when i say patriarchy it is not oppressive only to the women it is oppressive to men also and it is not made them to realize the humanness inside them it stops them you know to relate as a human being 
so fighting against the patriarchy is not fighting against men they are our co-travelers they are my brothers my, my companions and we journey together so it is like you know what do you mean by patriarchy in a very simple way i understand it as all the supremacy i am the supreme you know whether it is race or caste or uh, you know gender and uh, anything to oppress it won't let you live peacefully it affects you so i just want to make them realize while making them realize i also realize how this patriarchy is working within me how if given a power how i behave do i behave differently when i get into the power structure when you know the power which the men enjoy if it is given to me how different i am so then i need to question and while questioning patriarchy you have to question you have to question patriarchy you have to question uh, you know uh, capitalism you have to question racism you have to question you know i am also connected with the lgbt movement of uh, uh, karnataka all discrimination has to be fought simultaneously and it is for the good of the society it is good of the you know for everybody's well being so when uh, a small little girl was raped in kashmir the people forty above they raped they were officers and then they called other men also to come and rape that small little kid i felt so bad and uh, she was intoxicated she belonged to the shepherd community i have a poem yeah that. <laughs> i felt so bad i thought you know ki just you know ki forget it you can't change this man we you just have to be violent then you know inside me you know this buddha ambedkar and my mother what what you are talking about you talk of politics of love why do you want to take up to violence then you know that came out as a very beautiful piece of performance which i do which i call it as pakshi purana where you know i have used all male birds this in the birds world this male are very beautiful very creative very talented so i in that piece i ask you know ki you have lost those birds inside your heart better search for it and i'll be with you you know in the search so that's how it ends and this this santini goes in search of those birds you know who care who nurture who build the nest and very romantically they dance some birds you know ki the madly jump up and down you know to grab the attention of a female bird and they're so beautiful i want men to be like that i want to love them they are with us Uh, so this i want to make them feel you know ki better realize you know the bird inside your heart and whenever i perform this now it has become so popular wherever i go aka please you do this you do this you do this and all the young men they come and just they hold my hand and say aka you really nicely hit in kannada they say al reshme button alli chappli ittibittu odithiya aka anta means you keep the chappal inside the uh, you know silk cloth and hit us nicely so so i say them you know ki chappal is made out of skin and this uh, the cloth is made out of a silk worm so very bio you know so we need that kind of we have to be close look at her you know ki so beautifully she she's from the forest she's the daughter of the forest she's close to the nature we are we have moved away from the nature so we have become so inhuman and very uh, what lifeless civilized you are bringing life yeah and i love bell hooks i love bell hooks there is one thing one more thing that we need to uh, mention and we haven't mentioned the names of the translators so you know we'd like to do that uh, as well so some of the poems were translated by hoshang uh, merchant um naila ali Uma da Mudakshada. Um, and I think this is yeah the Uma again. Yeah. Um, 
Some of the other translators um, are Dipta Ashar and K.S. Chitra. Mm. Um, sorry, we forgot to name. Johannes Lapping. Yes, and Johannes, Johannes Lapping, who was with us in Paris uh, also in, uh, at the beginning of 2020. Anyone going French? Yes, and Rowena Hill uh, for the poems by Gina Fonis. So thank you to them as well. Yes. Everybody here.